Hello. So uh, just just a quick video uh, on my uh, comic book uh, wall display. Uh, this is the first step. Uh, I just went to Home uh, Home Depot and got a what they call a red dry wood strip. Uh, it's the piece of the long piece of wood you see there. Uh, they sell like different lengths. Uh, they sell like six, eight, and ten. Um, feet. Um, I got the six because for my measurements that's what would work better. I uh, already cut it. Um, the goal here is just to do a wall display for like six comics. Uh, as you can see, uh, I just position them around the comics to get the right measurements. So uh, it's not nail, it's not glued. Uh, just for the measurements. Uh, I plan on painting it later and put a backing. Um, I'll put some pictures of, of the progress. Uh, just different angles. And I, I also put a picture of like the, the actual part number if you try to, you know, if you want to do something similar. Uh, let's do a close up. You can see uh, they're just deep enough to feel like a, a large uh, king size comic. Uh, that's what I have. Uh, I have six there, but I have six more for the this run, and I want to put them together on the wall. And I'll just paint the wood after I'm, I'm done putting it together. So yeah, uh, this is the first part of the video. So uh, I'm gonna. Just pause here and go to the next step and I'll take a, another quick video. Okay, um, now this is the second part of the the frame uh, comic book frame project. So I already cut the pieces. I'm gonna do three frames just like that one. I already pre-cut the other pieces. Uh, I just put a piece of wood there to hold it together. And I'm just gonna use the nail gun to uh, put a couple of uh, uh, small nails to hold it together. Um, it's not really that heavy. Uh, so I. Uh, I'm not going to use big screws or anything like that, just the nails. Um, sometimes I use this glue here. Uh, it's very strong. Uh, if you don't have a nail gun, you can use that. Uh, believe me, that, that will hold. <laughs> um, I use that on some parts of this uh, uh, project here. Uh, the other thing that I did, uh, the centerpiece I don't know if you can see it. I cut it. Uh, see right there? Uh, so the comic book fits right in that area there. So it doesn't slide out. And that's the middle piece that goes in the in the center there. So yeah. Um, now I'm going to nail this. Once I put it together, I'll send it a little bit of corners to finish it up. And I'll just paint it. Uh, and now I'll, I'll see how I'm going to do the backing. I can do a small piece of wood or a thin piece of wood, cardboard or or that carpet. See this carpet here that I use, this black carpet? Uh, I was thinking about using that, so I'll see. Uh, let me just put this together and then I'll continue. All right. Um, I put the nails, uh, and now, as you can see, it's all one piece. Uh, you can move it here. Uh, if you notice, I, I put a, a piece of paper. I folded it in four, just to use it as a spacer. Uh, I want the slabs to be tight there but not super tight i want to be able to slide them in there 
Uh, I put it on the top and on the bottom before I nailed it together and I cut it because sometimes when you push it, you push it too hard. Um, next thing will be just to do the other, so this the other one, uh, it's too new, new to nail together. And I decided to just use the carpet that I mentioned earlier as the backing. So I'll just staple it on the back and I'm going to use the Velcro. Uh, and I put a little piece of Velcro on the back of the slabs and the slabs are actually going to hold on the on the back in there. Uh, this is a very strong Velcro. It's supposed to hold like 10 pounds or 5 pounds or whatever. Each slab is not nearly that heavy. So yeah, uh, so now I'm just gonna do the other two and I'll paint them and I'll continue the video. Okay, uh, now I put the frame together, I paint it. Um, well, it doesn't look like the back is painted, but it's just back. Uh, so I put it down because I'm gonna put the carpet on the back and I'm gonna staple the carpet on the back of the frame so it's gonna look something like this one I already did one so you can see uh, this is the frame with the carpet on the back it's the same carpet that I use for my statue display let me move it here so you can see and I'm gonna put the comics there uh, and then I can use this uh, Velcro, this uh, industrial Velcro, to just put a piece of it and you hold the comic there so it won't fall. Uh, at first the plan was to uh, put some acrylic in front, uh, more like a display, uh, but it didn't look good. I, I have a piece of acrylic when I put it in front of the uh, slabs. It, it looks weird, it, you know, it, it doesn't look so nice. Uh, I like to look at the slab without anything in front of it, nice and clear. And here, as you can see, I already cut the second piece that's going to go there. And I'm going to staple, and after I do this one, I'll do the, the last one. And then I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the wall so you guys can see. Um, the final display okay uh, I'll be right back okay uh, it's all done uh, that's what what it looks like in the wall uh, I'm very happy with it Let's take a look from the side. Uh, as you can see, it's very close to the wall, flush with the wall. Uh, at first, um, my idea is just to build a big frame for all 12 of them, because I want to just keep all 12 together. But my wife didn't like the idea. <laughs> well, um, and, and she was right. Uh, now that I look at, at it right now, it, it does look better just having six on each frame and just two, two frames of six instead of one big one of 12. Um, and while I was at Home Depot, I, I checked different trims, different size trims and pieces of wood that they had there. And yeah, there's some bigger ones, like fancier, uh, you know, with different edges. But I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted the comic book to be the focus, not the frame. So as you look at those, you know, comic books on the wall, you're just paying attention to the, the covers, not really the, you know, the trim around it. Uh, to me, that would be kind of distracting. So that's why I chose it this way. And the bonus is that, well, it's very easy to make it. Uh, as you saw in this video, uh, what's called um, 
uh, dry redwood trim. Uh, it's very cheap, very easy to cut it. So even if you don't have, oh, that's uh, the other one that I put in there on the side. I'll show you later. Uh, that one on the right, uh, I'm not gonna show it to you now because it's not done. Uh, I mean, it has six comics there, but there's one that's missing that I'm waiting uh, to arrive sometime this week. So I'll do another video about uh, those comics. Uh, it's the giant uh, size Spider-Man run. Uh, and this one is the annual um, Amazing Spider-Man uh, run. So the giant size is six comics. The annual are just, well, there's more than 12, but I just like the first 12. Um, like I was saying, yeah, uh, that one is missing one. It's supposed to arrive from Europe. Uh, I think it's coming from England. Uh, I just put uh, like a annual 22 there. <laughs> until I get the one that's missing. Uh it's supposed to be coming from Royal May or sometime this week, so I'll do another video about it. But uh, going back to the frames, uh, I want them to be the focus, so that's why I, I, I kind of like the simple design. And as I mentioned, the, the wood is very easy to cut, so if you don't have the, the equipment, the tools that I have, um, you can basically cut it by hand. <laughs> They're very small. If you don't have a nail gun or anything like that, I showed you that glue in the beginning of the video. That glue itself will hold it. So you can just use that glue to put it together. And the paint uh, is just uh, spray paint that I bought from Lowe's. Let me show you here. Uh, if you see my other video, uh, that's the paint. If you see seen my other video um, on the Statue display that I built is the exact same paint that I use. Uh, very easy to use, and I think it's like five, six bucks each can, so it's not that much. Uh, as far as the cost of this whole thing, uh, I think in my estimate it comes down to maybe 30 bucks each frame. So I did three, I don't even think I spent 90 bucks. Uh, I've seen on the internet some frames for sale uh, for four or five bucks or whatever. They're like 70, 80 bucks shipped or delivered. Uh, so it's reasonable. Uh, the only reason I decided to make it myself, as you can see, I want it that way. Uh, six comics, that size, that way. So I just made it myself. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to show you. Uh, the carpet. Uh, this is the carpet I mentioned from Home Depot. Again, it's the same carpet. Uh, you're going to see a train here. I reuse a lot of material that I buy. It's the same carpet I used for the statue display. Uh, if you've seen that video, it's the exact same. Uh, oh, by the way, it's the same carpet I used for, for this. For my, I think you've seen that video before. My cabinet, I put it inside. The same carpet where I put my comics. Uh, very easy to cut, very cheap, so you can find it at Home Depot. Uh, but then again, um, you know, you can just buy it if you don't, you know, need to make the frames. But uh, I, I like to, you know, make things, so uh, I think it came out pretty good. This is the first time I've done frames. I've never done them before. I mean, I've done, I've done shelves, like as you can see there. Uh, there's a video I, I did up, you know, for those shelves, but this is the first time I've done frames. And it came out pretty good. I love those covers. Uh, and as I mentioned, I wanted the covers to be the focus, not the, the frame or the trim around it. Very nice books. Took me a while to get them. Uh, a lot of my collection, a lot of times I started with like low grade comic books and eventually, you know, as I can afford nicer copies, um, I get nicer copies like this number five looks amazing. Uh, 9.8. Uh, it took me a long time to get it, but I finally got it. Um, the thing is that I have a 9.6 now. Uh, actually, I have a 9.6 there. That, uh, I don't need it anymore, but 
but that's what I had before before I could afford a 9.8 but again 9.6 9.8 I mean they just almost the same um, oh well so that's it uh, uh, I hope you could learn something or enjoy the video or if anything just enjoy the comments um, if you have any questions or comments as usual just type below uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can and and that's about it and I'll do another video about those uh, comics there on the on the right later once I get the the last one that I'm waiting for okay thank you